not that bad so the flow this is what we had so so far so good we have managed to deal with our velocities unit uh, unit head losses and um, pressure the next thing here is to do a simple stuff just like so let me click run again at least now our model is okay as far as steady state analysis goes at least now our model is okay but let's ask ourselves a simple question so now we are having uh, some negative uh, values here again here we are having some negative flows uh, remember this is a flow now we are having a negative flow so what we need to do to remove the uh, these negative flows is to just right click this one and okay so let, let me click and right click then select reverse and run again you can see now the negative uh, disappeared and also this one do the same reverse and then run at least now we don't have uh, negative values again so remember among the benefits of a loop of a grid or loop a water a system is that even if one pipe here is broken then water will find another way to uh, supply water to, to this area so let me put it in a simple language let me find so let me assume this p3, p, uh, p2 is broken and it's not work will water flow to this area okay if this if we have a major breakdown in p2 will water be able to flow all the way to these areas okay so let let's see what we are getting so let me select here and uh, click properties and for this one let me put here closed okay let's assume that this pipe here is closed and no water is flowing uh, in this pipe okay so let me click run okay so for now what is going to happen is that even though this pipe here oh, okay so let's assume that we have here a major breakdown and this pipe here is not even work so water is going to flow from here from this from this p3 to p4 all the way to p3 and then it will move to this direction okay direction and again um if if for example we close at uh, this P2 and also we close at uh, this P5. What is what is going to happen? Okay, and again, that is very obvious because if you close this one and this one, in a simple language, water is not going to flow in any direction. So let me put uh, this one. Uh, let me put this one open. Let me and then click run. At least now our water is moving in this direction so this pipe if if we have a major breakdown here we are very confident that water will be able to flow to, to uh, so we are very confident that our network will be able to supply water to these areas here of course water will be coming from our source all the way to p5 p4 p3 then to this uh, section and p5 p4 to this section and p5 to this section here now let me let me let me open it again let me click open and then run okay so we need to ask ourselves so what if we are having a major breakdown in this p3 will water be able to flow to this point here so let me right click and select properties and select close again we don't have any issue because uh, even though uh, this pipe here is uh, is not working or we have a major breakdown water will flow from our source all the way to p3 p4 and all the way to this area here okay so let me close this and and click open and again uh what if so if this one here is closed okay so let me close this before before then and see what we are going to have in this so let me close this so even if this before here is uh, is not working or we have a major breakdown in before then water well, it will be simple for water to uh, run from this area all the way to P p5 and supply water to this primary school and in this area water will be flowing from uh, p2 p3 all the way to this area here that is very important 
okay that is, is, is very important and again let me put it uh, let me open it but what if this pipe here is broken this p p6 will also be able to flow in this area the simple answer is no so in a simple language this is the benefit of using a loop system in your in your in your area at least for now our model is okay as far as uh, as far as as far as steady state analysis goes okay at least for now our model is kind of okay kind of okay let me click run again at least this is what we are having so if i select uh, velocities of course this is what we are having so if if for if for example i close this one if for example i close this one i remember for now we are having 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 if i close this pipe if i close this pipe you can see now the velocities that we are having in these areas here so if this pipe here is not working this is the situation as far as velocities goes okay so let me again put it uh, to let me open this and let me click run again so you, you can see if we don't have any issue at p2 this is what we are having so let me close this p5 again let me close this again this is the situation that we are having so for now at least we are having these values okay we are having these values pressure velocities unit unit losses are quite okay so what we can do now is to uh, print a report let me print here a report okay so you can just click a uh, report and then click full report and uh, let me save somewhere let me give it a simple name uh, let me call it a loop network loop network report remember the location is in um, let me put it in a desktop okay so let me go back to my desktop of course this one is a loop network report so let me right click and open with and open it with a uh, word microsoft word so this is our network again these ones are the are nodes start and end nodes and this is the length and so every values is here remember if you see the valves that they are, this indicates the brake pressure tanks okay so this is our report so for velocities these are the values everything now is okay so if you are new here just make sure that you just make sure that you subscribe and uh, if you get value out of this video again make sure that you just click that like button so that being said i will see you in the next video thank you